Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Infinite Potatoes back here with another battle from Blaster Guide. Today, we are going to be diving in into the S5 Blaster Pistol for the Assault class. I'll be going over its different weapon attachments and how they affect the blaster, all the statistics we know about it, and tactics and tips to help you become the best with this blaster. In the description, I'll have timestamps so you can easily find your way through this video, but I'd suggest staying for the whole video because you might learn something new. But remember, anything I say in this video can be changed at any time. The S5 is the second blaster you can unlock for the officer class. To unlock it, you have to defeat 150 enemies with the officer class. S5, having one of the most powerful shots in Battlefront 2. Being able to one-shot headshot specialist classes for most ranges, this blaster pistol packs a punch. This blaster reminds me of the DL-44 from Battlefront 1, but a little bit better. The S5 has a slower rate of fire and high damage per shot, and high recoil. If you are accurate enough, you can take out specialists and other classes from extreme distances. Or if you prefer to say CQC, close quarter combat, this still is an extremely powerful blaster. The S5 is extremely versatile if you know how to use it correctly. You can also get certain modifications to help you defeat enemies depending on your playstyle. Now let's talk about the modifications for the S5. The first modification for the S5 is the reduced recoil modification. In order to unlock it, you have to defeat 50 enemies with the S5. This mod is absolutely essential to have equipped on the S5. Once you put this mod on, you'll never take it off again. It's that good. At longer range engagements, this is essential to have equipped. We'll be talking about that and sniping with this pistol later in the video. The second modification is the dual zoom modification. To unlock it, you need to defeat 150 enemies with the S5. The dual zoom mod gives you toggleable dual magnification. When ADSing, aiming down sight, you have an actual scope to look through instead of a third person view being zoomed in. And if you press the right stick click on your controller, it activates the toggleable zoom zoom. When paired with the first modification, the reduced recoil mod, this blaster pistol can become a sniper pistol if needed. I find this mod extremely useful at longer range engagements because of how large it makes the enemies look through the scope. And for me, the bigger the enemy, the better chances I'll actually hit them. The third mod is for the S5 is the Ion Shot modification. To unlock this mod, you have to defeat 250 enemies with the S5. The Ion Shot modification changes out your regular Baxter bolts to Ion Charged ones. What this means is that they do a lot more damage to vehicles and shields, but a lot less to infantry. And it also makes your Blaster Bolts blue. The Ion Shot mod paired with the S5 can be a devastating combo against vehicles because you can get extra damage on vehicles with an already super powerful blaster. The enemy vehicles won't know what hit them. Now, let's move on to the tactics, tips, and tricks for the S5. As you probably know, this blaster does extremely high damage, with a slow fire rate. What you have to do to make this blaster reach its full potential, as having a slow fire rate, that means you must have good accuracy because missing a few shots could end up in you losing the gunfight. For close proximity areas, I'd suggest playing very cautiously. If you run out and try to take on two or three enemies with this blaster, it's not gonna work. This pistol is definitely a strategic one for close quarter combat. If you end up in one of these situations, I have one tactic that might or might not work. Here it is. If you come against two or three enemies, Take everything I said about waiting and aiming for the head and throw it out the window. What you'll need to do to have a chance of surviving is just spamming that trigger as much as possible. If you, if you pair this up with jumping, rolling, or simple strafing left or right, you may freak out the enemies because of how much damage you're dealing with each shot. Also, if you happen to have a flash grenade, feel free to chuck that at the floor as well. And as I mentioned before, this is worst comes to worst. Let's talk about some better situations that are more controlled, such as medium to long range sniping. For sniping, I definitely suggest having the dual zoom mod equipped, 
let's just get that down first. It makes enemies bigger, and it really just helps with sniping in general. If you skip to this part of the video, feel free to go back to the modifications part of the video by using the timestamps in the description. Now back to the sniping. With this sniper pistol, it's going to take about 2 to 3 hits on an enemy to defeat them, at least from full health. Don't even bother trying to defeat them if they have the Yoda buff. It's not going to happen, believe me, I've tried it. In between shots, you can take time for your blaster to rest, because once it recovers from its recoil, it'll go back to the same place that you left it, which in most cases is near an enemy you were aiming for at a distance. When first playing with this blaster, I'd suggest playing as a team support player, one that stays near their teammates. This blaster at first will take a bit of time to get used to. It does so have somewhat of a steep learning curve. One thing that I do from time to time if I start missing shots is do the equivalent of quick scoping, except that I'm doing it with the S5. What this does is it kicks in the aim assist on your blaster and makes it easier to hit your target. Because as I mentioned before, you need to hit your shots. Also, don't forget that aim assist only works on consoles with, ma with controller. Mouse and keyboard doesn't have aim assist. The S5 is, is a very interesting blaster that I think you should tr definitely try out. It might just become your new favorite blaster. What is your favorite blaster pistol for the officer class? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, feel free to drop a like as it helps out the channel. And if you're new, subscribe for more Battlefront 2 guides such as this, streams, and more. I'm Infinite Potatoes, and I'll see you on the Battlefront.